What's up guys, I'm Sean. This is my 2021 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road. I bought this TRD Pro Grill from Empire Off-Road about a year ago. I did a DIY on it, so check it out. I've had zero issues with the TSS sensor and I've driven over a year and over 10,000 miles. I've driven it on the freeway to SoCal using the adaptive cruise control and the car brakes when it needs to, it slows down, it speeds up, it does everything it needs to do. So zero issues with the TSS sensor. So today we're gonna to be adding Raptor lights to this TRD Pro Grill. Empire Off-Road sent me these Raptor lights. They have different options on their website. They have amber, smoked amber, white, and smoked white. The kit should be plug and play. Pop it onto the TRD Pro Grill. Use the add a fuse for power. This is a ring terminal for the ground. With the TRD Pro Grill, this thing will pop right in. So I think typically people run it right here. They slide it right here and they run one, two, three, four. Some people run it one right here, skip run, and then two, and then three, and then four. I've seen people run it down here, one up here, one down here, one up here, one down here. It's all personal preference. And again, if you don't like it, you can just push this clip and pop it off and run it somewhere else. And the insulation is just basically, see this little tab right here? You're gonna have to kind of wiggle it in a good spot. And then line it up. And then just push it in. That's it, that's one. And let's do a few more. I'm gonna go here. And you just wanna line it up straight and then just push it in. All right, all four lights are in. And I went with the smoke one. I don't like how the amber color is really bright and you can see it. So this one's a little bit more subtle. So when it's off, you can barely tell that it's there. I use the wiring harness. It's very straightforward. The back of these plug into the light. And we're gonna route this to the fuse block. I'm going to run the wiring harness down here. If you look at the harness, there's a little clip here, so match the clip to the back of the light. Alright, the light's hooked up. So if you look down here, that's where the OEM wiring harness is. And also my front facing camera. So there's a nice spot for you to feed the wires through here. All right, I have the wiring down here, through here, all right, I have it here, pop the fuse box off, three tabs. Underneath the lid of the fuse box, there's this fuse puller. I'm going to pull out this fuse. All right, I just did a test fit, tapping power from a certain fuse. Daytime running lights are on, my headlights are set to auto, and the Raptor lights do not come on. So the Raptor lights will only come on at night, or if I turn on my headlights. Then the Raptor lights will come on. I actually think I want the Raptor lights on 24-7 when I'm driving with my daytime running lights. So I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna get power from. All right, so here's a test that I did. I got power from this fuse right here. And when your headlights are set to auto, the Raptor lights will not come on. It'll only come on at nighttime with your headlights or if you manually turn on your headlights. But if I'm gonna get power from here, then it's gonna be on 24 seven with my daytime running lights, which I like. And again, you can go back and forth if you change your mind, right? But I'm gonna go here. Let's uh, try to snake this wiring up into the fuse box cleanly so the box cover doesn't pinch it. And there's a tab here that you can just push and pull up. You can wiggle it out. And this side has a little tab right here that you can open up 
and put the wire through. Now that I know where I want to get power from, I'm going to cut this sleeve a little bit. So if this tap popped off, stick my power wire in there. Tap that back off. Slide this back in. See that? That way the wire's not pinched. Now I'm going to do the add -a fuse. Make sure you're crimping the metal to the wire. Slide this over it. Use a little piece of black tape just to kind of hold it together. Alright, now I'm going to remove this 10 amp fuse right here. Save this. Plug it in. And put this back. Now we're going to work on our grounding wire. Put a little bit of tape just so it doesn't come off. Now I'm going to go to the ground wire back here so it's a little bit more hidden. You can also tap it here if you want. Pop the cover back on. Now this is an optional step, but you can buy this wire uh, sleeves from Home Depot, AutoZone, anywhere. And I'm gonna clean up all the wires and tuck it all away. All right guys, everything done. I put the wire in the wire sleeve, tucked it all away, tucked it behind the battery, to the front of the grill. And the wiring back here, I zip tied it and tucked it away. And from the front, you can't really see the wiring because I tucked it away and it's all black. Let's see how it looks. When I go to accessory mode, engine off, it lights up. And I went with the smoke clear. Here's how it looks with the engine on. My headlight switch is set to auto, so my daytime running lights are on. And the Raptor lights are clear, so it matches my daytime running lights. I like this look right here. This is how the Raptor lights look in the dark. LED headlights that I spec'd out on my 2021 Toyota Tacoma and LED fog lights and now I have the clear Raptor lights in the front. Before you say Raptor lights belong on a Ford Raptor, the new Tundra comes with them now. So let's just call these Tundra lights. 